now facing the possibility of life in prison without parole or the death penalty for the murder of Lacey and their unborn child, Connor. Just to stop and think about that loss and what Lacey could have done and, and the mother she could have been and the young man that Connor could have become, he truly is devastating to think about that. I can't remember being a kid and wanting to be famous. I'd heard that he could be somewhat difficult. The first time I met him, I thought, this stuck-up schmuck. With Val, you're really not sure what's going to come at you. He's never quite the same in any movie. The hardest thing about becoming successful is it's full of disappointment. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through. With Val, when you're working with him, you're really not sure what's going to come at you. Everything around him is an event. Figured it out yet? What's that? He's the best pilot. First time I met him, I thought he was... I think we might be about to get in trouble. Val Kilmer, now on Biography. here at the Chateau Marmont, where uh, in this very room I was in this, I did a scene in the film. I, I hung off the uh, balcony in the doors. That was this? Yeah, it was this room. We were pretending it was the room above us so we could have the uh, advantage of the uh, of, of lighting from the upstairs down, pretending this was the roof. But I was sitting on the edge of it. Oliver liked it whenever I would do the real thing. I didn't do any drugs, though. Not for lack of requesting repeatedly in production meetings. Don't you want to do heroin? No. No, I don't. Can you go to the balcony? Yeah, let's go to the balcony. I'll show you. In, in the scene on the balcony, I was... Uh, I was facing the fact that I could never... The character could never really get there from here meaning uh, could never really make it you know that as a poet or an aspiring poet he knew that he it's just maybe was corrupted the times were corrupted he could never really get there Life on the edge, baby. so I was sitting on the edge here uh, uh, kind of realizing it was never going to happen. <laughs> Poor Meg, she didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I want you to come back in here this minute, Jim Morrison. I am not going to kill myself for you. Come over here. This is where uh, Jim Morrison used to hang out. Right there. That's Bungalow One. And I had my son's fifth birthday party there. That was a bad joke I made, that the last time that many young people were in Bungalow One was when Morrison stayed there. It's true. It was right before he went to Paris. He was living in there. They were finishing up the uh, L.A. Woman record. Still the same building down around the corner where they, they had their offices. Yeah. What else? Now I'm working down the street. I'm doing a play right down there at the Kodak Theater. It's very strange to do a play here musical at that. Last time I did a musical, the cardboard was used in the scenery. Where was that? Oh, uh, it was Chatsworth High School. Yeah. So you were a chancellor? I was a chancellor. <laughs> uh, well, I was never really a joiner. 
Texas, I, I loved the theater and I loved acting, but I didn't, I, I sort of hung out with, not really with, I didn't eat lunch with the actors. Uh, and I surfed, but I didn't hang out with the surfers. And I played tennis, but I didn't hang out with the tennis players. I can't remember where I hung out. I was in love with Mayor Winningham, though. She used to drive me home because I wasn't old enough to drive. I was also, I think, the shortest person ever to play basketball. I didn't start growing forever. Every year, like from 12 years old, my father said, don't worry, I didn't start growing until I was 13. And then 13 would come and go, don't, I didn't start growing until I was 14. Dad, you said that last year. I didn't start growing until I was 16. Because I was, I, I'm pretty sure I, I was young for high school, but I entered high school, I was 4'11". No peach fuzz. No voice cracking, no armpit hair. These are my memories. I walked a lot in the Chatsworth Hills. I wrote a lot of poetry. Went to the Renaissance Fair. Yeah. You know, Sean Penn wrote somewhere where he used to hang out with these guys at Topanga that were vets. And he mentioned, or I knew of, the, there was one guy who would golf, and they would try to hit the guys from the valley. I was one of those guys. Yeah, because I thought it was funny to have a Val Surf decal. Val Surf was a valley surf shop. But if you had a Val Surf decal on your car, it was like stone key and rip the tires out of this vehicle to anyone who wasn't from there. Should we go somewhere else? Yeah, I feel like this go. is... We're, we're kind of done here. Okay. I don't know if we'd be better at the pool. See we could well. try and see if we get busted or not. Yeah. Coming up, Val Kilmer makes his Hollywood debut. They waited till like the last week after months of me playing guitar and they said one day kind of casually, you know, it's uh, funnier when you can't play. I said, what? and breaks through playing one of Rock's legendary bad boys. He looked so much like Morrison, and his attitude was ironic like Morrison's.